All right, so when but arrives, and what I mean by that is when but starts to come after your sentences. I miss her, but. I love her, but. Um, when that starts to happen, you know you're healing from the heartbreak. And it's a struggle at point at times because you don't want to let go and you don't want to feel like you didn't love this person or you don't still love this person but the truth is it is needed and wonderful when that starts to happen because that really means you're on your way towards um, recovery and and recovering from heartbreak doesn't mean you stop loving the person it could or it could not what it means is you're accepting that the relationship is over and you can start truly moving on with your life and as scary as it is and as much as you may want to beat yourself up for saying but you need to embrace it and realize that that's just another step in your healing process and it's actually phenomenal um, to be able to say, I still love her, but I accept that she's off doing whatever she's doing, and my life is moving forward, and I'm happy with my life. That's a great thing. So don't beat yourself up, and don't try and change it when but arrives allow it allow it to come even to the point where you start purposefully putting it in after sentences to see how it feels um that's all good and part of the healing because let's face it that's what we're all doing we're healing from heartbreak and part of that is learning to move on without this person. And as heartbreaking as that can seem, it's actually just what you need. And it's actually just part of the process. And it means you are healing. And you're recognizing that you can move on without that person. And not only can you move on, you can have a great life without that person. Maybe a different life than you would have had with the person, but great nonetheless. And that's really kind of what we're all hoping for and working towards as we're healing from heartbreak. We want to know that we're going to be okay and that life is going to be great. And that happy things and wonderful things and glorious things are going to happen even without this person. And it's okay to feel that and to accept that no matter how much you still love this person. Because it's just part of the healing process. And it's part of what we need to learn to accept and step into in order to move forward without this person that we thought was going to be here. Shit happens. People break up, people leave, uh, people fall out of love. That all happens. But it doesn't have to break us for good. Because the truth is it can totally break you. But it breaks you so you can rebuild yourself into something new that maybe you didn't even think of. And that is more than okay. It is necessary for moving forward with heartbreak. So smile and pat yourself on the back and do a little jig if that's what you need to do when you realize that you're starting to put butt after the sentences of I love her, I miss her, I want her. 
when butt starts coming after that, uh, that's a phenomenal thing, and that's great. And it should be embraced and celebrated, because it means you're on the right track. So don't beat yourself up for it. Embrace it. Love it. Um, use it. Because it can help. For me, I know, it helped to say, you know, I want her, but I don't know if she'd fit into the life that I now have. I love her, but I can't change the fact that she's gone. So I need to move forward. Um, I miss her, but that'll go away, or it'll get less, and it's not going to stop me from moving forward. So play with the butt. Um, that's always fun to do, and it can really help you move forward and uh, step into the new life that you're going to have, because we're all going to have a new life after someone leaves us, after heartbreak. Life goes on, and butt can help you move forward with that and step into that new life. So embrace it, love it, use it, and don't beat yourself up for feeling it. Because it doesn't mean you love them any less. It just means you're accepting how things truly are. And that right at this moment, you're without them. So you got to make the best of it. you got to move forward with life. And that's okay. Alright, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.